Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive and today I'm so excited to take you through some of my favorite meals that I'm prepping right now. Listen, Linda, if you're an OG, I swear my life, every other video that I uploaded my first year on YouTube was a meal prep video. I used to absolutely love meal prep, but I was very, very strict with my meal prep. I used to think if I was going to be meal prepping my meals that I needed to have like the rice, the chicken, and the veggies, that was my lunch. Did it again for dinner, and I couldn't make these videos unless I had meals like that. But listen, that's plain and boring. And there's a time and place for rice and chicken. But right now, that's not what we're doing today, okay? That's not what we're doing today. Prepping food doesn't have to be plain and jane. It can be glamorous. It can be beautiful. It can be simple and easy and quick. And that is what the meals that I will be showing you today are. Preparation is key, especially if you are trying to live a healthy lifestyle. I have found that if I do not have easy access to healthy foods on a busy, busy day, which is almost every day, that I will reach for snacks and I will snack all day instead of eating nutritious meals, okay? I don't wanna tell you how many bags of boom chicka pop I've eaten recently, but it's a lot. And if I had a salad jar in the fridge, I would've ate that instead. So, I know what you're thinking. What do you you're not a salad type of gal. And to that I say, you're not wrong. But listen, a salad jar? I'm a salad jar type of gal. One of the meals I'll be prepping for this week is a salad jar. Sometimes a salad jar is more of a snack to me. Could be a meal for you. It can be whatever you want, okay? That's the beautiful thing about living healthy lifestyle. You gotta figure out what works best for you and stick to it. So making salad jars, I will be placing them in the cutest mason jars. Awesome thing about salad jars is you can customize them to be whatever you want. If you like onions and bell peppers or cucumbers, you can add those. You can switch up your dressing every single week, switch up the ingredients that you put into it every week and you can make it all your own and customize it to your liking. Listen, I like feel weird about this because like I love chili. And a couple years ago, I prepped a turkey chili in a crock pot and I believe that video got taken down and I still get DMs of people asking me about that chili. So I won't be making that chili, but I will be making another chili today. And it's so, it's so good. And what I love about it is it's so good reheated, okay? By the fourth day of a meal prep of chicken and rice, it doesn't, um, it doesn't like, tend to taste very good if you're a picky eater. I will be taking you through a very simple ground turkey and black bean chili. I make it on the stove top, super limited ingredients. You know me, you know me and my limited ingredients. I like it limited. I'm not a chef, okay. <laughs> So when it comes to prepping, it's all about multitasking. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my Instant Pot and get cooking my chicken. So I will be adding chicken to the salad. You can, of course, skip this step if you don't want chicken. Make sure you have your little, your shindig. Comes with the Instant Pot. Make sure you put it in there. Don't feel pressure if you don't have an Instant Pot. Don't go buy an Instant Pot if you don't want an Instant Pot. You can cook your chicken in the oven, on the stove top, however the heck of mob you like to cook your chicken. I'm gonna take some hefty chicken breasts. I have two here and I will be cooking them in the Instant Pot. I know that some of you are very, um, you don't wanna see raw meat. So I'll be saving you from the close-ups of the raw meat, okay? I'm gonna season my chicken with some pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna pop this in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna take one cup of chicken broth. Pour it over. This week I'm only making three to four salad jars, so I'm going to half the dressing recipe because it makes a lot. So if you're planning on eating a salad jar every single day, do the full recipe or you can half it like I am. Starting off with a little bit of olive oil and honey. I'm gonna go ahead and add some lemon zest. I'm eyeballing the lemon zest, I'll be honest with you. Now we have lemon juice, five tablespoons of white wine vinegar, we need half a teaspoon of salt, some Dijon mustard, and last but not least, 10 tablespoons of cilantro chopped. You're gonna wanna blend all the ingredients of your dressing. I've learned the hard way. Instead of measuring with these, which are lovely, don't get me wrong, I will measure everything out for a recipe now and just convert it. Listen, I can just pour this straight in here than trying to do one of these. Efficiency. My dressing is ready, so I'm gonna add these to the very bottom of the mason jars. I find that it's always a little bit easier when you're meal prepping to have a full prep station. So here's my full prep station. So now when I assemble the jars or I get ready to cook the chili, everything is 
ready to go. It takes less time. Remember, you can customize the salads however you want, okay? If you like your bell peppers in strips instead of bits, if you like your red onion minced instead of chopped. For my salad, I'm gonna be adding red onions. I have red bell peppers for a little bit of a crunch. I took baby tomatoes and chopped those up. And then my favorite, so there's lots of them, some cucumber. Yep. Listen, I'm sure that everyone and their mother already knows this trick, but once your chicken is cooked in the Instant Pot for 15 minutes, it is so easy to shred and I use a hand blender to shred it up. Are you kidding me with this? It's juicy, it's shredded. That's a fine shred, okay? That is shredded with a little to no effort, may I add. Now that we have the chicken and the dressing prepped, now it's all about just constructing the salad, the salad jar. So let's get to it. Now I'm just eyeballing everything, but please feel free to measure everything out if you are tracking macros right now. It's all about the layering of a salad jar that's gonna keep it the freshest, longest. And the key is to make sure that your dressing is at the very bottom. Now I'm gonna go in with my cherry tomatoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and layer in the red bell pepper, followed by red onion. I like mine in a little bit chunkier pieces because I love red onion. I feel like I could eat a whole red onion. That's a little dramatic, but I love red onion. Going in with cucumber. I'm gonna add some cranberries next. I am gonna measure this one out. So one fourth cup of dried cranberries. I'm gonna go ahead and add some sliced almonds. It adds just that perfect crunch. Okay, between the three salads, I shoved almost all of the lettuce in there. So it's a lot more greens than you think, okay? If you're looking at this, you're like, where's the lettuce? Where's the lettuce? It's in there. Just compact it down. My pride and joy. <laughs> Here's our salad jar. Look at that. You just can't tell me that's not delicious. Now that the salad jars are done, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and then we will move on to the chili. The chili won't take long. The most time consuming part is letting it cook, but since I got the ingredients prepared, it will be very easy. For the chili, I have my white onion chopped up with the jalapeno. Save some of the jalapeno to top on top of the chili. Now I'm gonna take that minced jalapeno and a yellow onion, pop this in here, season it with a little salt and pep. I'm a baby back B word, a baby back the word when it comes to spice and the jalapeno in here is the perfect little fire, hot fire flames. This recipe calls for ground pork. I'm gonna be using ground turkey instead. You can also use no meat. Whatever your heart desires. I'll cook this onion and jalapeno for about five to seven minutes. Here's a huge chunk of onion that I did not cut. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Once I add the ground turkey, I'm going to add a tablespoon of the Southwest Latin Heat seasoning and one tablespoon of this Mexican seasoning. I'm like so embarrassed that I love chili and I'm like, are you guys even gonna like this recipe? You know what I mean? But I physically and emotionally love chili. That didn't really make sense, but I love chili. And it's like winter still, okay? Cold vibes, ooh, it's a chilly day. Let me have my chili. <sighs> It's so good. I've said this a million times, but if you're new here, the hardest part of living a healthy lifestyle is eating for me. You know, I would so much rather, I could wake up, eat, sleep, and breathe fast food. Now for the Latin heat. Okay, so anyways, my point is, it's all about finding those foods that you find enjoyable. So even though I'm like kind of embarrassed to tell you how much I love chili, and that I'm showing you a chili recipe in this meal prep video, it brings me so much joy, so much joy. I can't even express it. It's one of those foods where if it's in the fridge and it's prepped and it's ready to go, all I have to do is reheat it. I am a hundred times more likely to grab that from my fridge than order on DoorDash, head to Chick-fil-A, eat a whole bag of popcorn in one sitting because I have zero control. So find some recipes that you love, that you enjoy, that are gonna help you make living a healthy lifestyle just a smidgen easier. Maybe you just got a haircut. Look how cute he is. You're so handsome and I love you so much and I might eat you for dinner. I might toss you in here. Eat you up, have some chicken nugget. I would never, but I have thought about it. The turkey's pretty much completely cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in three tablespoons of tomato paste. You guys, where have I been? Where have I been? Where has this been? My whole life. Never 
do I ever finish one little mini can of tomato paste. Now they have it with a lid. Tell me where I've been. All right, to finish off this recipe, I'm just gonna take one can of diced tomatoes. I like the fire roasted kind. And one can of black beans plus their liquid. Pop it in here with one fourth cup of water. I've added corn to this recipe before and I love it. So definitely feel free to customize it, add ingredients, take away ingredients. After the rest of the ingredients are in, I'll add a little bit of salt and pep and then let it simmer for eight to 10 minutes and it's finished. Great dinner, great lunch option. So yummy when you reheat it and I hope that you guys love this one. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this meal prep video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll try one of these recipes out and that you love it and it helps making living a healthy lifestyle just a smidgen, just a smidgen easier for you. I love you so much and until next time, I will see you next time.